Good afternoon, CMS. This is DRGN. I'm Micah. I hope that everyone has had a great day around campus. And now here's Ilo with the school news. Hi, CMS. It's Ilo with your school news. Um, extended day. Needs makeup tester. Place one quiet place to study. Need help on homework? Join us in extended day Tuesdays, Wednesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, 3:55 to 4:55 in the stack. I think usually, right? Okay. Um, greetings from animal science. Thank you so much for all your veggies. Please keep them coming. Our critters are loving them. We also are in need for any light fleece materials that you may have. We keep them in the cages so it can't be super heavy warm please. And the things that they need are broccoli, cilantro, romaine lettuce, fleece material that's lightweight, and newspaper. Um, thank you so much. Um, Thursday, December 1st, all groups, clubs, winter sports, pictures. Back to you with DRGN. Good afternoon, CMS. This is DRGN. I'm Vivian, and I hope that everyone's had a great week around campus. And now here's Serena with School News. Hi, this is Serena with your School News. On October 26th through 27th, we the CMS Haunted House. On Monday the 31st, it's Halloween, and with Halloween comes the Halloween costume contest. Reminder, remember to check the lost and found because spots are filling up fast. Back to you, GRGN. And now here's Hallie with School News. Well, sadly, October 31st through November 11th, the library is going to be closed for inventory. So no one will be able to come in in the mornings, in the afternoon, or during the day. So make sure you get your books before that time. And now here's Sydney in School News. Happy birthday, Americans. I'm here with your birthdays. If you have a birthday on October 24th, you share a birthday with YouTube star, Kit President, rapper Drake, TikTok star, Tatiana Michelle, YouTube star, Beauty Pie, and basketball player, Jalen Brown. If you have a birthday on October 25th, you share a birthday with actor, Craig Robinson, singer, Katy Perry, singer, Soraya, an artist called Picasso, along with voice actor, Lance Cartwright, and drummer, Chad Smith. If your birthday is on October 26th, you share a birthday with voice actor, Seth MacFarlane, country singer, Keith Urban, rapper, Schoolboy Q, game show host, Pat, Saga, actor James Pickinson Jr., and actor John Harrison, along with actress Rita Wilson. For your birthday on October 27th, you share a birthday with former president Theodore Roosevelt, talk show host Kelly Osborne, and artist Roy Matusa. If you have a birthday on October 28th, you share a birthday with tech giant Bill Gates, actress Julia Robertson, singer Frank Ocean, actor The Queen Phoenix, and country singer Charlie Daniels. Happy birthday, Dragons. Back to you, DRGN. Now, here's George with World News. And now here's Sean Bean with World News. What's up, DRGN? I'm George Smith with World News. Um, so, a few days ago, a giant pumpkin weighing 2,560 pounds set a U.S. record. A Minnesota man set a U.S. record this month for the heaviest pumpkin. That giant gourd weighed 2,560 pounds, or about as much as a small car. Travis Heiner of Anoka, Minnesota set the record while winning the 49th World Championship Pumpkin Weigh-Off in Half Moon Bay, south of San Francisco. Winners of the annual contest, which has been held since 1974, are almost always from California, Oregon, or Washington State. Hi, I'm Whit with your entertainment news. Today, me and my partner, Hallie, are gonna cover some random things happened in, happened in the entertainment world, so get ready. A Harry Styles college course is coming called Harry Styles and the Cult of Celebrity, where he can study the singer and his rise to fame. Six of the musicals will be touring through the Dallas at the Windsor Opera House in, the, in, in December. We hope to see all of you fellow six fans there. Mariah Carey has announced her Merry Christmas to all concert coming in December. Back to you, dear Jen. Did you know that a famous class on Nepal's near peak measured the world record? for the highest um, fitness class in the world. Tim Magazine of Body Shape Fitness attempted to break the Guinness World Record of 5,714 meters by conducting a 30 minute run session on the all year. A team of climbers who traveled to their call to take a part in the fitness class, 6,000 meters high has the world record. Tim Magazine of Body Shape Fitness, but attempted to run 
14 years back in the previous 30 minutes, which included a push up and six on the European Union. As per a Facebook post, the group has 90 years ago, broke the ground for the Meters in the office of October. Back to you, Dion. And now here's Joe with sports. Hi, Dragon. We, this is your regional sports. On Sunday, October 30th, the Dallas Cowboys are going to be going against the Bears. On Wednesday, November 2nd, the Dallas Mavericks are going to be going against Jazz. On Saturday, November 5th, Texas A&M is going to be going up against Florida, and TCU is going to be going up against Texas Tech. That's it for your regional sports. Back to you, Dragon. Now here's Armand with sports. Hey, CMS. It's Armand here with your uh, CMS 8th grade sport news. For football, we got 8th grade B and C team winning against Dawson, and for for CMS football 18 lost against Dawson. It was a pretty good close game. Both teams played well. Basketball season's uh, starting soon. Go support your fellow Dragons and also cross country and off season. Thank you. Now, here's Erickson with sports. Hey CMS, this is uh, Erickson Atcher with your sports. On, a, on November 5th, we'll start off the boys basketball while women's started on October 29th. On October 21st, 28th, and November 3rd, the football season will have their last games. On, on November 9th, wrestling at Carroll High will start. On September 2nd and, and September 3rd, we'll start water polo again. camera running their mistake want to hear some jokes true question you do what do you call a pile of kittens what a mountain hi drgn we're here with miss adams and we're going to tell her some funny tips and we're going to see how she rates them first of all why did the old man fall down the well why because he couldn't see that well <laughs> <laughs> um what's that right <laughs> I would say that was probably about an eight. An eight? Okay. Uh -huh. Why did the basketball player get called for travel? Why? Because he went on vacation. Oh, I wish I could be on vacation. <laughs> um, what's that? What's that I would say eight? that's probably a seven. Seven? Okay. For the last one, hopefully it's the best one. Why did the... What do you call an illegally parked frog? What? A toad. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best one. I'd okay, say that was a nine. A nine? Okay. <laughs> um, we're here with Miss Bradel asking her about some jokes so she can rate them first. Why did the old man fall in a well? I don't know why. Because he couldn't see that well. <laughs> <laughs> That's not weird. Mr. Boone's favorite Okay, I want to give that a five out of ten. Mr. Boone did not be happy. <laughs> <laughs> why did a basketball player go on, Why can't basketball players go on vacations? Why? Because they'd be called for travel. <laughs> Okay, that one's good. I'll yes. give that an 8 out of 10. That was pretty good. Um, what do you call an illegally parked frog? What? A toad. <laughs> okay, that was good. That graded. 10 out of 10 for that one. I Thank like that. you. Hi, DRG, and we're here with Ms. Rosenthal with some more jokes. Or the same ones, and we're going to see how she rates them from 1 to 10. First, why did the old man fall into the well? I don't know. Because he couldn't see that well. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, what's that out of 10? Uh, that one? Yeah. We'll give that one a 7. A 7? Okay. <laughs> why can't a basketball player go on vacation? Why can't they? Because they'd be called for travel. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna give that one a 6. Okay. <laughs> last one. Impress me on the last one. Um, why did, why, why did, what's, what do you call an illegally parked frog? <laughs> What? A toad. <laughs> that one was amazing. I'm giving that one a 10. Great job. Thank you. Back to you, Georgian. Hi, this is Dara Jan with your Tomb Crew Spotlights. This is Ms. Path, and we're going to interview her about the Hope Squad. What makes your club unique and different than the other clubs offered at CMS? 
Uh, I think what makes Hope Squad unique is that it does offer a very specific and useful training to improve everyone's kind of mental health here on campus and make sure everyone has a safe place. How do you become a part of this club? Is it auditions? So it's not auditions. Students are actually elected by their peers. Uh, the students that are elected are supposed to be people who are really friendly that people feel like they can reach out to and confide in. That's really cool. What is your goal you want to accomplish by the end of the year with the club? I think just spreading the word that Hope Squad members and the Hope Squad in general is somewhere you can go if you are personally struggling with anything here on campus, whether it's homework, stress, anxiety, and provide that safe place or help when needed. Mm -hmm. um, what is the next step for your club? Well, I think we're, we've done some specific trainings. We've been to a conference now, and I think our next step is really thinking about real ways to spread a positive atmosphere here on campus. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Back to you, DRGN. Have a great day, CMS, and we'll see you around campus. Bye. Have a great day, CMS, and we'll see you around campus. Bye.